Hello oh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is a uh, part 2 video of uh, a nice home theater. I call the first video nice home theater. I think it's pretty nice. Um, I got great response. I appreciate all the comments. Um, and I appreciate the people that actually appreciate the work uh, I put in. So, this is a part 2 and I want to show you what I've uh, done and upgraded slash downgraded because I had to downgrade also so um, I'm just gonna start with speakers here's a piece of fabric that I that I put on which is the same piece of fabric as I have on this side of the room uh, this is a nice thick um, velour uh, burgundy in color um, looks real nice and from what I've noticed uh, a lot of people are using those for home theater application. Um, seams, uh, you see there's two seams in the middle they couldn't actually make one that's wide enough uh, without putting any seams in so I told them to put two seams in the middle. Where the seams are if you notice the fabric actually um, pulls itself up a little bit so what I've done on, on each end I put um, weights uh, I think it's like a, a half a pound weight on each end. I gotta find some more weights for the middle, but I have uh, I have weights on both both ends right here. So that's the fabric. And then what I've done when the home theater is not in use, uh, I put the same piece of fabric here where I keep keep my equipment. And there's a little small hook uh, up on top where you know when I want to open this up, I just hang the the fabric over. So let's just start with speakers. If you notice, I painted the speakers. Um, I tried to match the colors as, as, as close as I possibly could. Um, I will have the list of all the equipment that I've used um, in the comments section under this video. So I'm going to tell you exactly in detail what speakers, what brands, and what the model numbers are. Uh, if you notice, I put two, I have two Martin Logan speakers here in the back right so basically what this is um, you have a uh, rear height speakers um, and those were those are used by Yamaha uh, in the Yamaha applications Yamaha has introduced introduced those with a uh, older ZX 11 receiver so basically <clears throat> in the back you have six speakers you have the surround uh, right the rear height right then you have the rear right surround left and then here we go again left so six speakers in the back if you notice that's for Yamaha application six six speakers in the back um, and then oh I'm gonna show you um, subwoofers go here uh, there's one right here clips that goes in the closet here and there's also another one back there okay going towards the front um, I have three Martin Logans right here and if you noticed I'm gonna show you right here I put um, a piece of wood in there to, to, to have those tilted towards the center okay so they're not flush against the wall um, they're actually tilted towards the center. It's like a wedge, a wooden wedge from a 2x4 that I put in before I actually screw those into the wall. And these speakers also, the mounts, the uh, brackets that they come with, uh, they go up and down. So not only they're, um, they're angled towards the center, they're also angled up a little bit. Okay. And so are the, the speakers here uh, in the corners. Those use the same brackets, and you can also angle them down or up. And if you notice, they're angled down, and you just tighten the screw a little bit uh, sh harder, stronger, and then it holds in place. All right. So this is the the left. This is the uh, the center. And then yes, yeah, somebody was saying that they're not in the center. Actually, the speakers, the front speakers, are in the center. Uh, underneath, you see two subwoofers. Um, I call this, I'm going to call this a uh, 11.4 setup. <laughs> it's actually 11.2, but 
uh, these two uh, subwoofers um, are are running on one amplifier so only one subwoofer output is used and it's running actually two subwoofers um, and I also painted those to match the color uh, so these could not have been in the center the subwoofers because of of the way the 2x4s are running and of course the electrical outlet right there so for somebody who doesn't like this well you can go screw yourself all right and then on top um you know if you notice this yeah you can see this these are i did a video on those opening box uh moderno speakers uh fit just right in there nice small magnetic covers uh they they'll do the job just fine you cannot angle these I, I i wish i could angle those uh at least the tweeters on these but i couldn't do that so they're just basically shooting straight down now for some reason i entered the uh, macro mode i don't know why there we go okay so that's the front so that's as far as the speakers okay now let me spin around in the back and i'll show you how this what I've done in the back here. All right, I'm gonna open this up. Okay. So this is how it would look like, you know, when I actually use it. So it's just like that. Okay. Now, uh, as far as the equipment, uh, the old Epson. Uh, projector I have not replaced this one yet it's it broke down on me once and I had a replacement sent out so this is the actual replacement unit um, primary amplifier now you've seen those before the uh, uh, I don't know if I can get the model number here come on camera focus oh, it doesn't want to focus but anyway it's a it's a a30 point three okay then um you got the old apple tv and i've also added the new one here the the newest apple tv right here i don't know if you can see it uh, there you go okay we got the uh panamax m4300 pm the rsa 500 clips um in wall subwoofer amplifier this one can power up to two subs and wall subs another primary same uh, same model number the um, a30.3 but if you notice this one is slightly different um, the logo is slightly bigger name is on, up on top and the model number is at the bottom and it's got um, chrome like polished feet okay this is an older model up on top it's the same same amp but it's just uh it was made, I think, two years prior, and they've since changed this design. I don't think they make these anymore. Okay. At the bottom, still got the... Um, gosh, the lightning. The light just sucks here. Still got the um, the Denon uh, DBP4010 UDCI. Okay, it's uh, this uh, Blu-ray player they call it universal blu-ray player it's still listed on Denon's uh, website however this receive this um, blu-ray player is actually uh, older one so uh, the price for this was about I think it's 2000 um, I was able to get it for 1500 um, it's a great blu-ray player um, it produces unbelievable picture I mean it's just great music movies it's it's a great blu-ray player it's slow it's very slow loading times suck but it's uh once it starts playing man you can't beat it so <laughs> i wouldn't recommend using any kind of video processing just play straight from this player and my new addition is the yamaha um rx a3010 receiver okay my old denon uh 5308 broke down on me and uh, they weren't able to fix it so they gave me money I paid half cash and half 
gift card. So I was, you know, I got the cash money and then the other one I got the gift card. So I had to actually use that gift card in, at Best Buy. So I bought this, uh, bought this receiver. Uh, this is a current model, um, you know, as of the day that this video is taken. Um, however, there's a new one coming out, uh, September, October time frame. It's going to be RX 3020, RX 30, I'm sorry, RX 2020 and RX a 10, 10, 1020. Uh, the difference just in a nutshell, uh, no dock connector, no extra remote like you'll get with this one and no satellite radio, I believe, but you get an Apple AirPlay, which actually is not needed. Uh, because you can play um, your music through Yamaha uh, Yamaha's app. So that's my new addition, and this receiver, with the addition of external amplifier, will allow you to um, will allow you to have 11.2 channel setup. Okay, I'm gonna power um, the projector on right now. All right, here we go. Uh, so that's the setup I have. Um, I've added uh, another, this is a Yamaha dock connector. Um, and you know, up on top I have uh, a Sony PlayStation 3. Um, Yamaha dock connector. Oh, and I, I don't know if I mentioned this little thing here. This is a uh, um, sound science. It's a, it's a, a cooling fan for your AV equipment um, and I stuck it in there in the middle uh, because uh, this especially that primary amp right here gets really really hot and of course there's another amp that sits on top of it so I put a f you know a cooling fan right in between I figure that's uh, that's gonna help cool the equipment down and it does it really works it's got two settings low and high this is on low I don't know if you can hear it. Now this is on high. So it's a little bit louder now. So I keep it on low. When you're watching the movie, you don't want the fan to be too loud because it's just it kind of bothersome. Um, so that's it. Uh, this is a small remote that comes with the Yamaha that you do not get with the new receivers, the, the new ones that will come out. Um, so that's what the home theater looks, you know, looks like. Uh, that's what I've done. It sounds really, really nice. I'm gonna show you. Um, this is the Yamaha Yamaha home screen. Okay. This is the input. I should probably. I'm gonna go and turn the light off. Okay, that way this is going to be visible much better. Okay, so this is Yamaha. This is how Yamaha's um, main screen looks like. Um, just want to show you uh, setup here. Okay, speaker setup. As you can see, um, it shows you 11 channel setup. Okay, and you can go in here and this is the uh, configuration setting right here you see this is after the uh, calibration this is how my speakers were um, adjusted um, I would prefer them all set to 80 to 80 Hertz but you know it's a, it, it sounds real nice uh, it also measures uh, the angle of your speakers uh, which only is available on the topper, the higher end line of the receivers, which is the 3000 series. Um, and then you, you know, you get to adjust all the settings, subwoofers, subwoofer layout also. You know, do you want it to be left, right, front, uh, front and rear, or just have them blast all at the same time. The only thing I noticed, if you change it to front and rear, um, certain sound fields will only play one subwoofer and certain sound fields uh, will play both of them. The only way to have them both play at the same time 
is to have them set to this setting um, and that's how you're gonna oh wait a minute uh, let me change that I didn't change that oh no I did okay all right um, and I don't want to go through all the you know menus and bore you with this um, I just want to show you one thing uh, when you're running um, you want to be able to run the um, 11 channel speaker system um, see this is an info screen with audio signal and all these speakers will light up yellow uh, once they start start playing so for example let me see that's another kind of a nice neat feature remote control nice backlit remote control on this Yamaha and it's LED backlit real nice see how it turns off real nice but anyway um, let me just turn the radio station now if you notice here all of them are playing are going to be playing except for the surround back right so what you need to do is you come out of this screen and you hit this button right here it says uh, option and then you go to 